Hey, how's it going? This is part two of a two-part Fooey Bomb video about Princess Remedy and a world of hurt. If you're in the wrong place and missed the first part, go ahead and click this little Princess Remedy sprite right here to head over to part one of the video. But if you're actually here for part two, then, uh, I don't know. Let's go! Huh? What's up with this off-color tree? I suffer from a severe case of death. Hey, I heard that one, brother. Woo! So I was walking around in the overworld, and I found this heart box thing in the way of my path. When I touched it, it exploded, and the path was cleared. This is the main way of getting around in the game. Every time you successfully heal someone, you're awarded with a heart, and when you get enough hearts, you can move on to the next area. You're not required to get all of the hearts in one area to beat the game, but later on they can get much, much harder to get, so it's good to stock up early on while they're a little bit easier. The next area is called Fall Town. Do you get it? Because it's like Fall Down, only it's with a T and not a D. Because when you get Fall Down, you get hurt, and you need someone to heal you. Am I Romeo, or am I Lambo? I'm so confused. Help! Oh, well don't be silly now. It says it right there. You're Romeo. It even says it on your nameplate. Yeah, you stupid dick. Hey, where'd everyone go? I guess my jokes really are that bad. I can relate. <laughs> so, back in Fall Town, I found an item called the Eastern Key. But where does it exactly go, you may ask? That's where it goes. This is what's called the Warp Room. And these little swirly things are links and portals to different parts of the world so we can get around more easily. As you can see, I need different keys to go through each of the portals, so we'll be coming back here every so often to unlock a new door. The next area of the game is West Hurtland. It's pretty much the same as the last area, but there's new kinds of places that we can go into. There's a standard town, but there's also a pyramid full of mummies and rubble. It's actually kind of atmospheric if you take a second to look around. Then there's another cave, filled with spiders, spider people, and a ton of useful chests. And then there's a black hole, just hanging out behind a wall. What, have you never heard of that? It happens all the time. It used to be one in my backyard. It was a real bitch to cut the grass. I'm sad because I was given a dumb name. Same. Same. Thanks! You're from Saturn, right? May you aid the prince as soon as possible. He's your age, you know. Oh yeah! Whoa. Did I just find a secret area? I mean, I already know the answer, but still, I'm shocked. <gasps> a blue thing. Moon Garden Secret? And a golden chest? Let's crack that shit open, boy. You have opened others before me. What? 
So apparently if I want what's in this chest, I have to restart the game and not open any chests up to this point. But I gotta know what's in there. So let's do it, guys. Whoa! So it turns out that it just gave me everything I already had. I also found a crystal palace, but it was boring so I don't really care. But then I found another secret area. A room with a door with a heart lock on it. I've heard sighing from behind that door and something about boxed chocolate. Boxed chocolate? And a door with a heart on it? What is this, Halloween? <laughs> uh, she looks really sad. And holy shit, look at that chest! Okay, this changes everything. I gotta go get that chocolate right now. You see, it's funny because I'm in real life. So I can't actually go out and get the chocolate myself. That's how jokes work. Oh, I'll come back later. I just need the chocolate first. Alright, another castle level. Here we go. Black Fortress. That's not black. That's gray. I laughed so hard, it made my face hurt. Not if you're watching one of my videos, it won't. Because you won't laugh. Because I'm not funny. And one. Dark Lord. Some hero struck me down. <gasps> oh no, that's terrible. Don't worry, buddy. I'll help you out. Oh, I'm gonna die! Hey. I'm okay. Wow, now I can conquer the world. Haha, <laughs> yeah, man. W wait, what? You know, maybe that wasn't the best idea in hindsight. Ah, who knows. He might not be that bad of a guy. Why, I'm sure that he would never do anything evil since he's been so kind to me. I mean, really. What's the worst that this guy could do? He even said himself that he got struck down by some hero. And that guy's a wuss! Alright, next area. Hey, what's this town all about? The Living End. Gee, it's kinda dark. Also, the name of the town is The Living End. So, does that mean it's the end of something where people live, or where people go to end living? Hopefully it's the latter, because I could sure use that right now. Oof, I bit my tongue. Really? And that's why you're a skeleton? You know, I'm starting to think that these people don't even really need my help. Now, granted, some of them are sick, or disabled, or dead even. You know, real illnesses. But I just feel like so many of them have some of the dumbest, the most easily solvable problems in the world. Hey everyone, and welcome back to a little Q&A action here on the Billy Blind Boy channel. Today's question comes from Gene Ween the Green Bean Machine. He writes in saying, Hey yo fam, can you open your eyes on camera? <laughs> well, it's not like it would change much, but let's give it a shot. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh my god, I can see! In fact, it seems like everyone in this town has the dumbest problems out of anyone else in the game. I'm so bored. I make sense when I talk. You know, I kind of wish I had your problem, but whatever. I think I've put on weight, and I am a rock. All of these make no sense! Except for that last one. I really hope you get better at not being a rock, Camilla. Alright, so I cleared out those two areas. I guess there's nowhere else but up. Royal Valley. Huh. Well, I guess this is it, guys. 
Oh hey, we got some chests. Nice. <gasps> the chocolate. I finally got it. I gotta go get my girl. You see, it's funny because I still can't actually leave. All right, back in the nothing dimension. Oh, a locked door? Bust that shit down! <laughs> Remedy? It's me, Frollin. I was dispatched by the Queen to heal the Prince, but I couldn't get over you dumping me in school! <gasps> I remember that now. I did dump her. Why, I can remember it like it was just yesterday. It's just another day here at the Healer's Academy. Me and Frollin walking down the hallway. I'm red. That's me. Oh, there, look there. It's uh, Remedy, my girlf oh, girlfriend. Oh, I'm gonna go see her. Hey, 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 hey. oh, I it's see you. See you in a while. Um, I'm talking to you a couple of days. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I've been crazy doing that. Yeah, no, I'm okay. I'm yeah, you having fun in class? Yeah, I'm having fun in class. Oh, that's good. Good to hear. Hey, listen, there's some, there's some important I've been meaning to tell you. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm to tell you right here. Oh, yeah, sure. It's well, important. Yeah, oh, it's important. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I'm doing it. What? What's going on? What, what's going on with you, Remedy? Oh, hey, you know what I'm saying? Ow! I'm doing show. I'm really hurt. Anyways, listen. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Um, uh, I've been thinking about it. I don't think yeah? we should see each other anymore. You know, I think what? we should, um... What do you mean? Well, like... Uh... Well, what are you, what are you breaking up with me? Um, look, I, you, you can't do please that. Don't, please don't cry. You, no. You've been really loud. Listen, listen. It's just, it's just not working out. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I gotta go. I, you can't do that. No, I'm don't sorry, Frog. I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Oh, dude. Wait, Remedy! I can tell you something. Oh, here we go. Shit. <laughs> Oh, what? You forgot your handkerchief. Oh, um, here it is. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, I almost well, forgot I'll see that. you later, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay, oh, okay. I'll see time. you later then. Goodbye. Yes, bye. Goodbye again. See you later. Wait, Robin, I, you, I need to tell you some, one more thing. Oh, jeez, here we go. <laughs> You shouldn't run that fast. You're gonna tie yourself. Oh, jeez, do you need some water or something? No, well, listen, what do you need to tell me? Why'd the chicken cross the road? Oh, God damn! Oh, oh, you were such oh, a bitch. A you know, like, you this is why I'm breaking up with you. You stupid! Oh, I hate so, you so oh, much. And all blah blah blah. This and that. that. Oh, no, oh yeah, no, you wait, did. Wait, you, come yeah, back. see you later. We'll see you later, loser. I'm gonna go join the football team. Actually, I might be remembering that wrong. I did look a lot different back then, though. You can't heal a girl's broken heart, Remedy. Oh, yes, you can. But since it's you, you're welcome to try. All right, Frallin. This is going to be nice and easy, just like I always do it. Huh. Well, second time's a charm, right? Uh-huh, here we go. And crap. I'm dead again. <sighs> okay, this is the one. Bada bing, bada boom, bada- Damn it! Ugh, why is this so hard? But I can't give up. I gotta do it. For my girl! Mm. Oh, come on. Uh, God! Mm. God! You know, guys, I can't- I, I just can't do this right now. I just need to take a quick rock. I'll be right back. Most things are unknown to us. How far we can reach, how deep we can go. For it is knowledge we attain, but understanding which we seek. And the search for understanding shows that we care. And that in itself is very beautiful. But what is beauty without eyes to see it, or ears to hear it, mouths to taste it? If we cannot experience such things, do we even really exist? And if we ourselves do not exist, does beauty? We try to find meaning behind that which has none, and disregard what we find contradictory to our own selves and the world around us. So through your trials and tests to discover what is true and what is false, I ask of you, 
Is any of it real? See if I can beat the challenge. Oh, hey, I beat it. Once we finally beat the boss, if you want to call it that, we finally get to talk to Frolin after she's recovered. Huh? You brought me my favorite boxed chocolate? That's right, Frolin, and I bought it myself with money. So, it doesn't matter if we're just friends, or sometimes more. I see that now. Thanks, Remy. You're the best. Remy? <laughs> we're getting a little personal now. But, if you ever change your mind, I'll be here waiting. Oh! Oh, they're gonna pay! So, after my little excursion with Frolin, I decided to finally go to the royal castle to confront Prince Hingst, the final boss. So far this game has been pretty silly, with a lot of funny characters and ideas that you might come to expect from a game like this. But for the final boss, there's actually some pretty decent build-up. The castle is huge. Well, at least when compared to your typical town or cave in the game. To get to the prince's throne room, you have to walk up a long, more detailed hallway, only to be told by Jeff that you're not even at the prince's room yet. And he leaves us by saying, everyone evacuated when he got sick. You know, in case it's contagious. What's his illness? See for yourself. This gives us the idea that the boss battle isn't going to be like anything else in the entire game so far. Which, although it still isn't clear to us at this point, is still kind of off-putting. We've gotten used to the typical healing fights at this point, and we just finished defeating Frollin's illness. But the idea of a brand new challenge at the very end of the game isn't exactly a calming thought. After we walk through a staircase into the second floor of the castle, we're put into a small room where we're finally alone with Prince Hingst. If we walk up to him, just like with everyone else, he'll talk to us. <sighs> no one can cure what ails me. You see, I suffer from everything. Fear, skull pain, slimy tears, stubbed toe, runny nose, nightmares, chronic hype, fear of birds, apathy, and a voice in my head with a very large ego. Healer, do you honestly believe you can cure me? I know this looks scary, but I believe in myself. I can do this. I've got the brains. I've got the muscle. But most importantly, I've got myself. I'm screwed. The final boss is actually pretty interesting. Remedy moves from screen to screen as she takes out various parts of a sort of tower of enemies while working her way to the top. You're constantly getting bombarded with attacks with different patterns, so you'll really need to pay attention during this part. Or not. Because I beat it on my first try. But then, after defeating all three layers of the prince's illness, Remedy reached the top. It was time to face the most vicious, most fearsome, most synonymously descriptive to the word evil creature on the face of the earth. Bruh, look at this dude. Look at his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a grill brush. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> So 
I beat the boss. It wasn't that hard to be honest. So, after we defeat the final boss, we finally get to talk to Prince Hinks as a normal person. And he rewards us with the title of Queen of Hurtland. And then he goes on to tell us that he'll rename the land to Heal Land. Again, the names in this game are just phenomenal. And he says that we can marry whoever we want, and they'll rule the land with us. I can choose anyone I want, huh? Doug. You already know. Well guys, that was Princess Remedy in a World of Hurt. I thought this would be an interesting one to tackle because it's a lot simpler than some of the other games I've talked about in the past. Like I said, the game's free to play, so I highly suggest you guys go check it out and play it for yourself. Also, Ludosity is already working on a sequel to World of Hurt called Princess Remedy in a Heap of Trouble. You'd think she'd learn to stop getting into stuff by now. Because she almost died a lot of times. And so, Remedy became the Queen of Heelland. She and Frelin ruled justly, and their hearts remained forever whole. Woo, we did it, guys. Now let's take a look at our score. Uh, let's see here. 77 out of 80 hearts, 5 power and multi, 10 regen, 9 flasks, 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 96% completed! Well, shit. Hey guys, so I hope you liked that video. Like I said before, you can get the game for free and check it out for yourself, which I highly recommend you do. Also, once the sequel comes out, I'll try and do a review of that one too. Oh wait, what's that? The sequel's already out? So, if you want to find me on other social media sites, check out my Twitter and my DeviantArt. I frequently post there, so you can get updates on what I'm doing and whatever other random garbage I have to say. If you want to see my last review that I did, you can click right here. And if you want to check out my speed paint videos, you can click right here. Also, I think I... Oh, jeez. I think I drank too much soda, so... I'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody.